Always watching, always tracking, so we can warn you first. This is your Storm Team 27 forecast. It's going to be a perfect weekend to head out to uh, Mill Creek Park, but how about Landerman's Mill? Take that in, too, if you want to go to a family-friendly event that they have at Landerman's Mill. It's a Halloween event. It's uh, child-friendly. They have snacks, games, costume contests, and a lot more, too. Great music as well. For more details, go to WKVN.com and click on Community Events. And as you can see, high pressure is around here to keep us dry and keep it a beautiful weekend. But then things are going to be changing. You'll see in our seven-day forecast. For now, though, no big changes here. Much like yesterday, we get the sunshine, but warmer temperatures already in the lower 60s. And as we make our way to first news at 5 and 6, temperatures will rise to the upper 60s. And then as we move through the evening, we'll be around 50 degrees or so as we make our way to first news at 11. And Paul Wetzel. So we'll let you know that tomorrow morning we're going to be mild, no frost around, no temperatures in the 30s. Temperatures probably in the mid 40s when I wake you up. And as this day continues, temperatures even warmer for tomorrow. Maybe only by a degree, but we'll be in the upper 60s. So for today, enjoy the upper 60s here. The bright sunny day. Sunset tonight at 637 with clear skies, 54 degrees by midnight. And tomorrow morning during first news this morning, I'll wake you up to temperatures in the mid 40s. Bright sunny day again and a little bit breezier tomorrow afternoon with a high of 69. Then we jump up to 70 by Friday, still dry, and it stays dry into the weekend with our warmest temperatures of the week. Highs in the uh, lower 70s here, a little more cloud cover on Sunday because, boy, we get a chance of uh, scattered showers on Monday, and that's the start of a cooling trend. By the time we hit Wednesday, well, Tuesday into Wednesday, we drop to the 30s for lows and a high of only 47.